Hello my children, today we are grouping objects in twos. We are grouping objects in twos. And on my table here I have so many things. I have so many things. I am having tomatoes. You all know tomatoes, we get them from the market, you know. Then we have some onions here, so many. We have some sandals to use. We have our counting sticks, plus some more counting sticks. We have balls. We have tins. We have markers and so many things. So, we are here to group objects in twos. I will start by asking you, when you are going to school, what do you put on? Do you put on just one shoe like this? No, you must put on one shoe in the right and another shoe in the left. Then you march to school so smartly. Now, those two shoes you put on make what we call a pair. They make what we call a pair. I am going to show you everything practically. I want us to see everything here. Then we shall end our lesson having understood everything. I want you to pay attention, please. Don't even move away from your sitting room or from your study room. Please sit quietly and listen to teacher Hilda. We are grouping objects in twos. Now, I am starting, I'm going to start by drawing a pair of shoes. Don't laugh at me, I'm not so good at drawing, but I will try. I will try. drawn I draw let me draw it better I have drawn one pair of shoes. They are two shoes, one for the left leg and one for the right leg. Now these two shoes make what we call a pair. They make what we call a pair. They make what we call a pair of shoes. They make what we call a pair of shoes. Now a pair of shoes consists of, or it has two shoes. It has one for the left leg and one for the right leg. Now, this one pair is going to be called a set. We shall first call it a set. For example, I have a pair of sandals here. I have a pair of sandals. I have a pair of sandals. I want you to listen carefully. I am saying this one here that I've drawn, I am going to call it one set. It is one set. Just like I'm having this one here. This is one set. But it is one set of two. They are two shoes. One, two. They are two shoes. So I call it one set of two. So I have one set of two. 
It is one set of two. Okay? I hope everybody is getting me. What if they are two pairs? What if they are two pairs? Let me draw them. That is one pair. This time I have two pairs. The first pair and the second pair. This time I will call them two sets. Just like I'm having this one, this is a set of sandals, and I'm having another one. These are two sets. One set, another set. One, two. Two sets. They are two sets of twos. Each of these sets has two shoes. This one has two shoes. This one also has two shoes. So all together I am having one, two sets. These are two sets, okay? So I now write these ones as two sets. They are two sets of twos. I want to write something here. Let me rub this line first. I want to write something here. If I have one set of two, how many twos shall I call that? I will say it is just one two. For example, when we talked about the two sets of two, I showed you these shoes and this one. So we said one, two, and we got two sets of twos, okay? Two sets of twos. And these ones, these two sets of twos will be two twos. This is one, two, another two. Two twos. One, two. Two twos. I have written two twos, okay? This one is just one set. So it is It is just one two. It is one set of two. So it is one two, just like I have my sandals. Okay, what if I have three pairs? Let me draw them on the board, please. Listen, everybody. That's a set. That is a set. That is another set or another pair. Don't laugh at my shoes. Remember to draw better ones. That is another pair. So I have the first pair, another pair, and the last pair. This time I have drawn three pairs. 
So they are three sets. But remember, they are sets of twos because each pair is having two shoes, one for the left leg and one for the right leg. So now, these are three sets of twos, okay? Three sets of twos. sets of twos make? These three sets of twos will make three twos because we have one two, that is one two, one two, another two, one two, another two. So we have one two three. They are three sets of twos and those three sets of twos are the ones making three twos. So I write three twos. Now, what if we are having four pairs of shoes? Let's first look at our items we have. Let's first look at our items we have on the board. I mean, on our table. I am going to use, let me use colored pencils first. When I count one, two, and I put them together using a rubber band, I am now using something different so that we don't use shoes only. This is a group of two. It is having one, two colored pencils, okay? It has two colored pencils. So this is a set of two and we shall call it one, two. Just like we have this, it was one pair, it had two shoes and it made one two so this one is one two okay mm -hmm. i get others this is one two i put them together this is another two they are it is having one two it has two colored pencils too. So now, how many tools do we have? I hope you are now understanding it better, isn't it? Very good. Now this is one two, this is another two. So if we are to count them, we have one two. These are two twos. These are two twos, okay? Very good. Let me put them aside. One, two. I am putting them together. I'm using a rubber band to tie them together so that we can make a group of two. That is another two. So, so far we have made one, two, three. So these are three twos. These are three twos, okay? One, two more. One, two, I put them together using a rubber band again. These ones are also forming a set of two. This is one, two. When I put it together with these ones, how many twos do we have so far? Children, look at the twos I have. Let's count them together. One, two, 
three, four. So far we are having four twos, okay? I am very sure each of you right there is now getting to understand what I meant. I am giving, let me give two more. I have one, two. Let me pair them up. So that is another group of twos. Now, how many twos do we have so far? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and five. So, so far we have five twos. Who doesn't understand what I mean? I am very sure you all understand. Yes, now these are five twos. What if I have another one? One, two. I put them together. This is also a group of two, a set of two. They are two colored pencils and it is also one, two. It is also one, two. When I put it together with these ones, how many twos do we have so far? Count with me, children. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So far, we are having six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are six twos, okay? These are six twos, okay? Very good. Now, I want you to get your exercise books and you do the activity I am going to give you, okay? Tomorrow or in our next lesson, we shall use more objects. Remember, we have our tomatoes here. We have our onions. We have so many things. We have shoes. We have cups. We have colored pencils. We shall use more of them. And we see how we can group objects in twos, okay? Get your books ready, everybody. Get your pencil, a sharp one, and we start the activity, okay? Good. Now, this is our exercise. Fill in the missing. You're filling in the missing. Let's look at our activity or our exercise and we find out what, is it, what it is telling us to do. It is telling us to fill in the missing. But what is missing? Let's look at part A. Part A is having balls. It is having balls, but it has one, two. Those ones make one set. One, two. They also make another set. One, two. Remember, we are grouping objects in twos. As long as you get two objects, they will be forming a set. Just like we grouped our colored pencils. The ones we grouped before. Make sure you count the twos. For example, looking at this, I have, that is one group, another group, and another group. So, I have one, two, three. I will write three sets. They are three. Three sets of twos, three sets of twos. 
And how many twos are they? Still, they are one, two, three twos. They are three twos. So I will write three twos. So we have three twos. Let's look at part B. Part B is having pots. One, two, another one, two, another one, two, and another one, two. Those are twos. Put the twos together. Find out how many twos you have. Then these are triangles. We have one, two. Count. Keep on counting and you find out how many sets of twos we have. We also have cups in part D. There are beads in E and F is having some tomatoes. I want you to write so well. Remember to write better than me. That is our activity today. And we are having just something very simple, something left that we are going to add on to this same lesson. So I will not rub off anything because we are going to use these same numbers. We shall be using those same numbers, okay? So I am giving you time to complete that. Thank you very much. That is what we had for this lesson. But we are coming back for another lesson, okay? Yes, we are back to group objects again, but this time we are counting. This time we are going to count. We are going to count the objects in the twos. Let's group the objects again and we count. Let's just remind ourselves of what we did in the previous lesson. We grouped our colored pencils in twos. We grouped our sandals in twos. We did not use the tomatoes and onions, but we shall use them. But still, if we are to use them, if we are to use them, And I have one, two. These are two tomatoes. But they make one, two. They make one set of two. So I have, this is just one, two. What if I get another two? This is also one, two. And I put it there. How many tomatoes shall we have in the two twos? We have one, two, another two. One, two twos. One and two. Two twos. We want to find out how many tomatoes are we having in the two twos? Let's count together, children. One, two, three, four. What if I have three twos? What if I have three twos? My tray is empty. Let's put. Remember, we are grouping objects in twos. So, how many twos are these? This is one, two. It is one, two. Because it is having two tomatoes, but it is one set of two. I put it there. That is one, two. Okay. I get another one. That is another two. I put it there. And then another two. So we have one, two, three. We have one. This is one, two. Another two. And another two. So we have one, two, three, twos. Three twos. But how many tomatoes are they? They are one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
They are six tomatoes. So three twos have given us six tomatoes. Let's find out what if it is just one set of sandals. How many? This is just one two. But how many items are there? We count. This is one two. They are just one two sandals. Okay. They are two sandals. Now we are back to count our twos. Okay. Let's find out. Let's find out what we have in one set. This is one, this was one set of two. And we said it is equal to one, two. Let me use my red pen so that you can clearly see what I mean. We are going to count the objects in the twos, okay? Let's count together. One, two. There are two shoes in one, two. There are two objects in one, two. We have counted the shoes and we have one, two. So one, two equals two. Did you see that? Let's find out what of two twos. Let's count the objects in the two twos. Here we are having shoes. Count with me. One, two, three, Four. So two twos give us four. I am going to write, let me write it just here. Because I don't have space. Remember some of you want children, when you still have space, you just go down and write, just like the teacher wrote. But I don't have space where to write my four. So I have written it down there. Mm -hmm. Let's count the third one. If there are three sets of twos and there are three twos, how many objects are they? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So three twos are equal to six. Did you see that everybody? Three twos are equal to six. Let's go to our activity. We are first going to fill it in together and we find out what we get. We counted, we counted the twos. We counted the twos. Mm -hmm. We counted, these are one, two. It makes, those two make one, two. So we had one, two, three. So we got three sets of twos. And those three sets of twos give us three twos. Okay, they give us three twos. Now let's count again the objects that are in all the three twos. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have labeled them using this red marker so that you can all see clearly. So we have six. We have counted six. So three twos give us six. Very good. Let's find out. What if we have four twos? Let's find out how many twos these are. Count with me. Remember every two pots this and that one make a group of twos or a set of two. So I have, this is one. I can even decide to tie them together. Or I can separate them just like that. I have separated two, two, two. I have separated two, two. And I want to count the twos. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. So we have four twos and four sets of twos. Four sets of twos. And the four sets of twos are the four twos, okay? They are the four 
tools. How many objects are in the four tools? How many objects are in the four tools? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four twos give four twos give eight. Very good. We have counted together. Now let's find out the next. How many twos were they? We are going to count to two objects and separate two, 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 okay? These are one, two, I separate them. Another one, two, I separate them. Another one, two, I separate two, two triangles. Now let's count. How many twos do we have? One, two, three, four, five. I'm not counting these lower triangles. I'm counting this as a group of two. That is one set. Another set here. Another set here. Another set there. And another set. So we are having this as one set, two sets, three sets, four sets, and five sets. So we have five sets. What do the five sets give? First of all, the five sets are the five tools. I hope everybody can see better now. Let's count and find out how many triangles are they all together. We want to find out how many triangles are in those, the five tools, because there were triangles, or let's count the objects in the five tools. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five twos give us ten. So five twos give us ten. Good. Let's go to part D. How many sets of twos are they? How many twos are they? We are supposed to fill in that and then we shall count together. Good. Let's count two two cups and we separate. We make sets of twos. Okay. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And one, two. How many sets are they? Count with me. One, two. This is one set. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are six, six sets of twos. And how many twos are they? They are six twos, okay? Six twos. Good. Now let's count the number of cups. Let's count the number of cups in the six twos. Count with me, children. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's count again just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So six twos give twelve. I am going to leave you to complete E and F. You tell us How many objects are in these sets of tools and in those ones? It is very simple work and I am sure each of you will get everything correct.